to be with you today. I am going to attempt to bake a cake or chocolate brownies. But you know, whenever I'm baking, something always happens to my cake. It always flops. Oh my goodness, I can't see anything I'm doing in here. Anyway, while I'm busy trying to make this cake, because I can't even see anything, why don't you go call your parents because we are going to go to Life Adventures. Oh, hey kids, I, I can't really see you, but, but welcome to Life Adventures. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm perfect. I'm fine. Don't worry. You need some help? No, no, no. What are you, what are you I'm, doing? I'm, I'm, I'm on an adventure. Okay. <laughs> Baron, are you okay there? Yeah, I'm good. I know exactly where I'm going. Don't worry. Don't worry. Do you need some help? No, no, no. I'm fine. I'm fine. Doing my own. Oh man, what's Baron up to? Much later. What's that noise? Baron, is that you? Are you still in the bush? Oh my head, I think Baron needs some help. Speak up there. Baron, Baron, yo, yo, what's going on? Are you, hey, 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 this is Nikki. Yeah, are you okay? Uh, yeah, no, I'm just um, uh, bushwhacking. Where are you going? Uh, I was just um, going to. Uh, no, with. Uh, actually, no. Okay, trying to get on the path. Yo, the right but spot. You got a blind photo on, my friend. You need to take your blind photo. Isn't this how everyone is? No. What? Let's take this blind photo. Whoa. And then you can see. What? What's this? Oh, man, let what? me help clean you up. There's like so many colors. This is amazing. Byron, I think you've been on the wrong path. I think that's the direction that you need to go on. It looks like it. Oh, now you can see it. Let's, I'll go with you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey Byron, why were you trying to find the path blindfolded? Uh, Nikki, I actually, I thought that's how everyone does it. I thought that was the normal way of walking. No, if you do it like that, man, you're never going to find your way. Apparently so. Yeah. Well, kids, you know what, eh? Jesus opens the eyes of our heart to see the truth and the way that leads to righteousness and eternal life. Byron, do you think you need that? I don't actually need that. I have Jesus. But kids, we are going to be singing a really, really cool worship song now. Singing, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. So let's go and worship the Lord.
My goodness! Look at this mess! Oh, I'm also a total mess. I couldn't see anything and, well, like I said earlier, I was trying to make a cake. Let's see what my... The Bible story this week is John chapter 9 and Jesus tells the story, well he doesn't tell the story, he actually does it. He heals a man who was born blind. Okay. Jesus was walking with his disciples when he saw a man who had been born blind and the disciples asked, teacher, why was this man born blind? Did this happen because of his sin? or his parents' sin? Jesus answered, neither his sin nor his parents' sin caused this. This man was born blind so that people could see God's power through him. Jesus would be on the earth for a short time, so he healed people to show what God is like. Jesus said, while I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Then Jesus spit on the ground and made some mud. He put the mud on the eyes of the man who was blind. Then said, go and wash in the pool of Shiloh, Jesus instructed. The man went and washed, and when he came back, he could see. The man's neighbors were amazed. They took the man to the religious leaders and they asked him how he was healed. A man put mud on my eyes. I washed and now I can see. The religious leaders were upset because Jesus had healed on a Sabbath. They did not want to believe that Jesus could give sight to people who were blind. Over and over again, the man who was healed told the religious leaders what had happened. The man believed Jesus must have come from God, but the religious leaders threw the man out of the synagogue. Jesus said to the man again and asked, Do you believe in the Son of Man? And the man answered, Tell me who he is so I can believe in him. You have already seen him, Jesus replied. The Son of Man is talking to you now. And the man said, I believe, Lord, and he worshipped Jesus. You see, our sin makes us unable to see the truth about God. Jesus came as a light into the world. He came to give us sight, true understanding of God and his kingdom. Those who trust in Jesus see who he is and worship him. What's going on in here? Oh, hi. Um, I don't know. I was trying to bake a cake and then it just came out like a flop and I'm a mess and I don't know what I did wrong. I had spaghetti in my cake mixer. I don't know what to do. Did you follow the instructions? Instructions? What instructions? Whenever we bake something, you always got to follow the instructions. You got to have an instruction book. Wow, do you think you could show me? Of course I can. But I think before we start, you need to go and clean up. <laughs> oh, I think you're right. Okay, kids, while I go and clean up, why don't you go to the memory book? Go. Matthew 5, verse 14 to 15. You are the light of the world. Oop. Let your light shine in front of others so that, may, so that they may see the good things you do and praise God. Matthew 5, 
verse 14 to 15. Go. You the light of the world, of let your light shine from the fathers, let they can see the good things you do and praise oh, wow. God. Matthew 5, verse 14 to 15. You are the light, the light of the world. world. Let your light shine in front of others so that they may see the good things you do and praise God. Matthew 5, verse 14 to 15. Peace, peace. Bye, Mama. That's the king over there. So you gotta add the cream, just like that, that's perfect. Next we've got our vanilla essence, just a dab bit in there, that's perfect. And then you've got a oh, mixer. Hi guys, welcome, we are busy baking and you know what's even great about this is the fact that I have a master chef as we saw him come in earlier and told me I need to clean up first, now everything is clean and we can bake something together and you know just like our master chef there's also someone else in our life that is like a master chef and his name is Jesus, Jesus. and you know just like this master chef is giving me instructions to follow to help me Jesus also gives us instructions so that we can follow it and we can follow him wow isn't that amazing now, while I'm busy making this cake, why don't you guys go and worship? Mix, 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 mix. Perfect.
digital pets. We're gonna go and enjoy these brownies now. Bye! Mm.